Okay, Torn, find that ball and I'll be back to pick you up. Rescue one out. Taking fire! Mayday! Mayday! This is Rescue LZ just lit up. Missile free! Missile free! Oh, man! Foreigner, you can't be foreigner. Uh, this is Rescue. Look, uh, someone down there just locked onto me with a missile. Cannot maintain orbit on station. Repeat, cannot maintain orbit on station. And unless you uh, take care of those bogeys yourself, uh, you'll be walking home. Uh, but I am retreating. Repeat, I am retreating. Rescue out. Hello, Thorn. You're taking it well. Expected to nab Mirage on the mole in one fell swoop, eh? <laughs> it appears the agency's communications are not so secure. And I'd say you've rather fallen into my trap. Warning, you have entered hostile line of fire. Ow! The weapon, Thorn. Now the goggles. I'm eminently impressed. Those were some of my best hitters. Unfortunately, you'll never get a chance to stop the assassination. The game is over, and you lose. My contract with the Mafia is fulfilled. Bloody hell. Wait, Thorn. You need me. Look, you can kill me, but that won't get you what you need. Harmonica is moving in to kill your president, and as you may know, he doesn't miss. If you kill me, you won't catch him. And then we both lose. Case Officer Thorn, welcome to... In Thorn, nice work with Blake, and don't worry, we'll take care of him. But I need you in Moscow now to stop Harmonica. You've got the best chance of making a positive ID. 
I've got a chopper headed your way. It'll take you to home plate where a hornet will bring you to Moscow. I'll meet you there. President Brooks and I are aboard Air Force One now. We'll be landing in a couple of hours. Roger that, Thorn, uh, ETA Eisenhower in uh, 10 minutes. Whoever you are, I'm afraid your curiosity is going to cost you. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Goodbye. 30, 29, 28, 27, Download in 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Download 4, interrupted. 3, Case Officer Thorne. Link established to National Security Agency. Decryption successful. 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 Link established to National Security Agency. Decryption successful.
Link established to National Security Agency. Decryption successful. I noticed you found a message from Blake to our target, the Mole. It seems ProCat can be run from anywhere in the world by anyone who's got his computer. Maybe you should run ProCat for a while. Link established. Roger Thorne, uh, carrier in sight. Congratulations, Thorne. President Brooks and I just landed ourselves. Well, let's go aboard and see if we can't get him to see reason. Hmm? Discretion is the better part of survival. Uh, Mr. President, I'd like you to meet Thorne. Well, welcome aboard. It's good to finally put a face to the name. Now, this denuke deal's been in the works for two years. If we don't get these Russian missiles tied up, they're going to be sold to the highest bidder. What's more, without this treaty, Polyakov certainly will lose the election. There must be some way to reason. Now, I appreciate that. the concern, but frankly, I don't see any alternative. Yes, sir. No more buts. I let this treaty slide by, and tomorrow any two-bit dictator with enough cash will be pointing a missile at our front yard. I've whittled things down as much as I can. All I have to do is go up on that stage, speak for two minutes, sign the papers, and leave. I'm sure Thorne can get the job done. If not, the Secret Service will have to. Now, if you don't mind, I got a speech to prepare. Listen, Thorne. This is where the rules of the game change. We're playing for big stakes, the biggest. Now, these are the security maps of the ceremony site that you wanted. Do whatever you need to do. Hey, Thorne, are you there? me, Jamie. All the way from the States. Look, you shouldn't be surprised to hear me now. I've got this earpiece working like a charm. If we're gonna get a line on this harmonica character, you'll need help. Call up your PDA. Sometimes I even amaze myself. Welcome to Red Square, Officer Thorne. You're looking at it from a few miles up. Your PDA is also a GPS transmitter. We can track you anywhere on the globe. I've got our best birds honed on the square right now. See? That's you in green. Keep moving, and the GPS will track you. Those other blips are Secret Service agents. They're also equipped and patrolling their zones. But that's not all. I made sure the NRO boys patched us into their electronic surveillance sets. They'll isolate electronic signals in the area. Perfect. Okay. Here's what you're seeing. The yellow flashing pulses are signals in the 0 to 250 MHz range. The orange ones are 250 to 450, and the red is there anything above 450 MHz. I'm not sure which range we're looking for. I was hoping he would have that intel. Isolate harmonica. Let's take him down. My people, 
This day is a day of great joy, for we are throwing off the oppressive shackles of our past, and we are ushering in a new age of Russian prosperity. Lobby, the aging nuclear arsenal has been like a millstone grinding our economy. And now with our treaty, we take that millstone and we put it back in the mill. You know, Sakharov said once that you cannot put nuclear missile in the stew pot and you cannot use it to warm you on a cold winter night. And he was wrong. Today, we use these nuclear missiles to put food on the table, money in our pockets. Huh? This treaty is going to bring us investment and boost our economy and allow us to rebuild the industrial base and create Thorn, I see the distinguished intelligence cross in your future. Harmonica's taken care of, but our asses are still on the line. We still need to know who hired Procat and ID this mole. I have to get back to President Brooks. He's a little shaken, but thankful. He gives you full authority to find the bastards behind this and put them out of business permanently. Case Officer Thorne, welcome. Well, I just got off the phone with Yuri's boss. He's agreed to send him to Yalta for your meeting with the mole. Yuri's there to help you take care of business. Welcome, my friend. I have been briefed and I'm ready to do my part. I've torch cut the hinges. I prepared the door. So, let's go. Forget the speech, Chervinov. The game is over. Then I'm glad you listened to the swans. The swans? The swans I left on Torrance's desk. I did not know I sold my soul to the devil. I could not leave with myself if her plan came to fruition. Arkadia, what are you saying? How dare you find the victim? You set this in motion. No, she set this in motion. She is the one who hired me and broke her. They were the only ones tough enough to be her own personal KG. You fool. Don't move. I made you remember who you are betraying. Oh, how could I forget that? Mafia, madam. And me, her, her whore president. Shut up! Thorn, Yuri, I'll take control now. Pathetic.
Hey Thorny, you there? Sometimes I even amaze myself. Your PDA is also a GPS transmitter. We can track you anywhere on the globe. But that's not all. I made sure the NRO boys patched us into their electronic service. My people, this day is a day of great joy. For we are throwing off the oppressive shackles of our past, and we are ushering in a new age of Russian prosperity. Lobby, the aging nuclear arsenal has been like a millstone grinding our economy. And now with our treaty, we take that millstone and we put it back in the mill. You know, Sakharov said once that you cannot put nuclear missile in the stew pot and you cannot use it to warm you on a cold winter night. And he was wrong. Today, we use these nuclear missiles to put food on the table, money in our pockets. Huh? This treaty is going to bring us investment and boost our economy and allow us to rebuild the industrial base and create a job for every able-bodied man and woman, and this is my promise. Thorn, I see the distinguished intelligence cross in your future. Harmonica's taken care of, but our asses are still on the line. We still need to know who hired Procat, and I deed this mole. I have to get back to President Brooks. He's a little shaken, but thankful. He gives you full authority to find the bastards behind this and put them out of business permanently. Case Officer Thorne, welcome to... I just got off the phone with Yuri's boss. He's agreed to send him to Yalta for your meeting with the mole. Yuri's there to help you take care of business. Welcome, my friend. I have been briefed and I'm ready to do my part. I torch cut the hinges and I prepared the door. So. Chervinov, the game is over. Then I'm glad you listened to the swans. The swans? The swans I left on Torren's desk. I did not know I sold my soul to the devil. I could not leave with myself if her plan came to fruition. Arkady, what are you saying? How dare you play the victim? You set this in motion. No, she set this in motion. She is the one who hired Brokat. They were the only ones tough enough to be her own personal KG. You fool! Don't move! I made you remember who you are betraying. Oh, how could I forget? A mafia madam. And me, her, her whore president. Shut up! 
Thorn, Yuri, I'll take control now. Drop it, Yuri. Drop it! to use professionals, but you, you amateur, you almost pulled it off. You have to do something. Almost. Got it. What the hell are you one, talking two, about? Three, I didn't hack two, anything. One. not have been worried with marksmanship such as yours. The only thing you should be concerned about, Chervonov, is if your cellmate gets lonely. You can't arrest me. The people support me. Gordon, arrest me and I promise you a bloody civil you've war. You've got to protect me. Jesus. Please, look, I have given you the Mafia. Only America can protect me now. Maybe I wasn't clear. Chervonov is our man. Do not let you reach me now. Let's go. CIA Deputy Director Eugene Warhurst was leaking classified information to an unnamed foreign power. Warhurst, who was killed yesterday in a shootout with CIA agents near the Crimean city of Yalta, had apparently been operating as a double agent for almost a year. According to our sources, Warhurst had recently fallen under suspicion due to the efforts of CIA agents assigned to investigate possible leaks. Former CIA Director William Colby was in charge of the investigation, which eventually uncovered Warhurst. A Thor, come on in. Have a seat. 
congratulations. Even Bruce Jeffries couldn't have done a better job. I feel you deserve the agency's highest award. Oh, and there's one more thing. I figured you deserved a little R&R. &R. I trust two weeks in Fiji won't disagree with you. <laughs> Slide victory, Russians elected entrepreneur Arkady Trubanov to be their next president. Although Trubanov disagreed bitterly with former President Polyakov on issues of nuclear disarmament, he sounded a softer, more reasonable tone in his victory speech, promising to forge strong relationships with the U.S. that will benefit the security of both nations. Trubanov also vowed to attack the swelling ranks of Russian organized crime which he called the most dangerous obstacle to Russian prosperity.